Hi, I'm Whitney, and um, I want to talk a little bit about salvation and um, just some things we've been learning from class about that and um, the union of Christ, which goes along with salvation and just the story of the gospel. But also, I want to talk about my own personal story and just how the gospel has impacted me. Um, so first, through salvation, um, when we talk about the gospel, we talk about how God made creation and it was good but then humans sinned and we have that separation from God so we were in unison with him but then after sin came into effect um, there was just gap and we had no way of um, fulfilling that gap because we can never be what God intended us to be um, unless there was an alt sacrifice to um, bridge that gap and um, through the gospel story, we know that Jesus is that gap, and he is the mediator between God the Father and creation. And um, because of him coming to earth, living a perfect life, and going through all the trials that we go through, but never committing a sin, and then dying for our sins um, on the cross gives us that chance to um, have that eternity with God and to not have that separation from him and to just um, fulfill our lives and glorifying him, um, not for ourselves and not for our good works, but to bring him glory and to bring others to him. And so through that in class, we've just learned that um, through Jesus, we have this union with Christ where we become one with him and we um, dwell in him and just give our lives to him, knowing that he is in control of everything. And, um, God works this in us by, um, through his love of Jesus. Um, we know that by sending Jesus to earth um, and dying for us, that it just shows how much love he has for us. And um, just to give us that sacrifice and um, just helps us to tell others about the story and that um, he loves us so much um, that he's willing to sent his only son to die for us is pretty remarkable. Um, and the verse that just really comes to mind with this is 2 Corinthians 5.17. Um, and it's just saying that when we give ourselves to God, that our old selves, all of our mistakes from the past, um, anything we've done ha is gone. And we are a new creation. We are new in him. So that just emphasizes the union we have with him and that um, we're living our lives not for ourselves or anyone else, but for his glory. And um, that just is kind of my, that's my verse I go by. Um, it's my life verse, I guess you could call it. Um, and so with that, I just want to talk a little bit about my own personal story and that um, I really didn't live out my Christian life, um, until I started coming here at Cedarville. I was known as the Christian girl in school, um, in high school, but I, it was just because I never did anything wrong or, um, just always did the right things, was nice to people, but I didn't have a good meaning or, um, motives behind it. I just did it because I thought I needed to. But um, coming here at Cedarville, um, my, I went through some trials um, with my family life and my best friend, who's like my, uh, her family's like my second family, um, her dad got diagnosed with stage four cancer. And um, instead of um, just dwelling in that pain and in that, that trial, um, their family went to Christ every step of the way. They never spent one second not giving him the glory for what's going on. And their motto was FROG, and, and that's the acronym for Fully Relying on God. And just their story and being a part of um, their walk through this um, really brought me to Christ and really showed me that um, he can use things for other people. It doesn't matter the situation. He will use things for your our good. And just witnessing all of this really made me want to be a part of it and really wanted um, me to learn more about God and um, just more about this faith. And um, it just shows how much he has been working in my life too. Uh, I guess you don't think about it until you take a step back and look at the bigger picture. 
but he really has been working and um, I'm just really thankful that I have um, a story to tell and um, that God loves me enough to send Jesus um, for my sins and that it isn't a weight on me as I walk forward and um, can tell others about him and just all the good that he does because he's amazing and um, like Pastor Rome said a couple weeks ago, he truly is awesome and he's the only one that can be described as awesome. And um, so that's my explanation of the gospel and just what God has done in my life and um, how I've become united with him. Thank you.